Welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking and by grabbing one of my free ebooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series. Read the first two ebooks for free. I'll leave a link in the upper right hand corner and one in the description to my website. And now to the video. In today's video, I'm just going to be talking about a method that you might not know on how to fix iMovie. I have an older Mac Mini and I went ahead and upgraded to the latest version of Monterey 12.2.1 and when I uploaded the new version, uh, my old iMovie wouldn't even show so I had to upload the newest version of the iMovie and when I went to use the newest version of the iMovie, it wouldn't do anything. Um, once I got past the welcome screen for iMovie, it, yeah, there was nothing that I could do. Now, I, of course, I did the restart, nothing happened. I went ahead and erased or deleted iMovie, reinstalled it, and that also didn't work. But I did find this one thing that will work, and I'm going to quickly go through it. I believe the problem with the new iMovie software is that my computer is very old and it has a lot of preferences and other junk on it that's probably interfering with the iMovie. So I found a solution that actually worked for me. What you're going to do is create another user. So this method should work with any desktop, Mac mini, and laptop. So let me go ahead and get to how to do it. And do watch this video all the way to the end before you attempt this because there are a couple tips and this might not be what you want to do. Though this method is basically very safe for your computer. Here are the written instructions if you want to come back later and refer back to these. So to create a new user, you're going to go into the upper left hand corner and click on the apple. In the drop menu, you're going to select system preferences. In the, in the system preferences, you're going to click on users and groups. If the lock in the lower left hand corner is locked, you're going to have to unlock it and use your password and user ID. This will be your administrator. Or if you're the only user, it's your password. Once you've unlocked it, you can then hit the plus sign to create a new account. Then just fill in full name, account name. I just put iMovie because that's the only reason for this account. Add a password, verify it, don't forget your hint, and then hit create user button. To log into your new account, go back to the Apple, go all the way down to log out of whatever your current account is. A screen like this will pop up and here's a note. Uh, make sure you log out of everything, shut everything down, save everything. So basically you are kind of shutting down the computer. So do all that before you log out. A screen similar to this will pop up and just select your new user that you just created. And then you will enter the new password for this new user. Once you enter a password, an arrow to the right should pop up. You can click it, or I think you can also just press return or enter, and it should log you in. Now, don't freak out. You're going to have a brand new spanking computer when you go into this new user. That's the purpose, to wipe all the previous preferences. But you still will have your old computer with your other user. So. This new user is where you're going to be doing iMovie. It's going to be all new. That means you're going to have to import things from your old side, your old user. But you'll still have both users, so don't freak out. But it will be nice and refreshing to have an uncluttered, for a short period of time, desktop. Couple notes. Don't forget that you will need to know your administrated or your original user's password because you're going to want to log back in. So make sure you have your other user's original password so that you can log in before creating and logging into this new user account. Now you should be able to now use iMovie 
it, this was the only solution that I found for my certain problem. As I said, I had an old, old Mac Mini so that, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on it. I think it got so cluttered that when the new iMovie tried to open, there was something interfering with it. And instead of trying to fix the problem by trying to figure out which you know, preference thing I changed was causing it, this is just a lot easier to create a new user, but it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt because you're gonna to have to swap back and forth. Nice thing, you're starting out with a, almost a brand new computer, clean slate, but that also means anything that might have been in iMovie will probably also be wiped. I had just installed iMovie, so I knew it was already wiped because it was a brand new program for me. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, let me know how I did with this tutorial. Was there anything I left out, anything confusing, anything I should have added? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share. Until next time.